Okay, so we're doing two recordings, the recording for YouTube and Facebook Live. So if you're joining us on Facebook Live, um, we'll kind of wait a few minutes. If you've been following us on YouTube, um, find your inner flavor, hashtag Team Stacy. Um, just to give you a little background on Stacy's story, 2011, you had um, not lap band surgery. Two years ago, the lap band um, eroded. eroded. You had, and in the last two years, you've had a total of six surgeries, correct? Five surgeries. Five surgeries in the last two years. Um, majority of them all falling in 2017. Okay. So when we found Stacy, Stacy and I have been acquaintances. Um, we've gotten to know each other really well here in the past few weeks. We wanted to reach out because one of the feedbacks we were getting was that um, through all of these surgeries, Stacy was never told to change her eating habits. Um, and we were slowly watching her go down this path of self-sabotage in some ways, but really what I'd like to say is she wasn't valuing herself enough to put um, nutrients into her body. Um, so we've kind of taken Stacy on, uh, helping her identify what some of her blocking points are and um, giving her some challenging pieces and action steps moving forward. Starting in January, we've got a team of people, Dr. Olivia with Wellness Connections. They're, they've done a blood panel workup on her. We'll see what those results are. We're going to take her on a 90-day journey. The reason we're doing this live and recording it is so that Stacy has some accountability out there. Um, and we're trying to gather a team of people that can support her, root for her, and maybe jump on the bandwagon along with her and create some healthier um, lifestyle changes. Dr. Jason, and I can never pronounce his last name, <laughs> Shamanato, Shiramano <laughs> is in Mato is in Kirkwood and he is a functional medicine doctor chiropractor who is going to work with Stacy when it comes to um, food allergies and the food addiction pieces to it we're still working with a few we're trying to pull on a few other pieces to this but um, in the meantime Greg and I are helping support on the food aspect of things so you can get all the backstory on YouTube find your inner flavor but we're going to go into where we've kind of came in the last few weeks. We're baby stepping Stacy into making some changes because January 1st, she's going to start a detox, which can become extremely challenging with the eliminations that she's going to have. So we're baby stepping. So last week, what were the things that we eliminated? Um, totally stopping at Quick Trip and getting my sweet tea. And uh, there's some candy left in the house for future get-togethers that need to be gone totally. So I've been working on getting that out of the house. Okay. And I haven't been to Quick Trip. Okay. And then you're journaling, journaling, journaling food, and just everyday journaling feelings. And how is that? How is the journaling, the feelings portion going? Um, it's a little hard. I'm not real big on journaling never happened so to actually write it out it's, it's a little difficult right now to get it out so just keep it in my head okay so. and this is uh, and I and I, we, I said it won't none of this is going to be easy a lot of this is going to be challenging it's all new stuff for you just like trying new vegetables mm -hmm. um, but once you try it it becomes easier um, to stomach so this week uh, what are your challenges and what are we working on moving into the holiday season christmas all that what are we working on um just basically we talked about uh, taking the healthier choices to the holiday parties instead of eating anything that's there um, being more knowledgeable of the choices i'm making okay not an expert in this <laughs> like I'm not like some food science like I'm not a psychiatrist and not a count like this is a this isn't what I do but 
Um, just in life in general, I think that oftentimes we walk around unconscious and by choosing to be more conscious and setting ourselves up for success uh, in eliminating the things that are the challenges becomes easier. So her going to the parties, we're not really eliminating a whole lot. We're saying go to the parties, take a healthy choice so that you can select what that healthy choice is. Um, but also be aware of where you guided to, where are you wanting to go with it. Um, and then you, and then I said, what's something that you've always wanted to do that you've never done? Um, so I, I have done it once before. Okay. It's been a while, but I was wanting to actually do it again and, and get more involved with, you know, furthering it. Belly dance classes. That's always been one of the things I want to do more of. This got me so excited. <laughs> Like, I'm not going to lie, when she said belly dance classes, and when I look at her and I go, okay, so she's had all of the stomach surgery, uh, this is a, embodying and empowering your feminine side of things, and your response to me was, when I'm going, let's do it, go do it, what's your response to me? Um, well, before when I'd done that, I was a lot thinner, so I don't That was not your response to me. It what was, was no, your obstacle? Money wise. It was money. Money was the piece that she said was going to stop her from doing it because Stacy lost her job uh, the week before thanks or the week of Thanksgiving. So she's seeking this job, um, but I'm saying, okay, let's let's get resourceful. Go on to Groupon. Go, you know, where can you take a class and invest in yourself at the same time? So this week she's got to seek this out. So if you know of the belly dancing classes, she's in St. Charles area. Um, reach out. We want to get her into some of these classes into the first of the year. Um, today was not easy. Like we're like you're seeing the easy part. We're recapping. We're going over all this, but um, you cried a lot today. <laughs> it's okay. Um, what can you just share a couple of the emotional pieces? Why did the tears show up? I think, mean, like I said, we're just kind of guilt of the past just what I've got in my head thinking that I've done wrong or haven't done yet that I should have done already and I just feel selfish for doing it so I haven't done it um, and you've always been the caregiver in the past haven't you and now it's kind of like all of this time is freed up and the question is, is you don't know what to do when there's nobody else there for you right I, I enjoy making other people happy and taking care of them. And there's no one there to do that for now. So, yeah. So, uh, just hit the like button if <laughs> if you can relate to that in any form or fashion. Um, I have to tell you, it's it's been uh, it's been fun to watch in a non-fun way, if that makes any <laughs> sense whatsoever. This journey is never easy. Stacy's gone through a lot on the surgery side of things, but many of us go through a lot of this on an emotional side and in a different way. Uh, it's, it's, thank you for sharing your story. Like, that's all I, like, acknowledge yourself for being vulnerable enough to share your story. Can you accept that? <laughs> okay. So as long as it helps somebody else out there too. So. Yeah, the food piece is the, will become the easy part. It's the emotional piece, and it's the acceptance piece of, you know, are you willing to value yourself more? So, okay, we're going to go ahead and end it because we could keep going on and on. Um, hashtag Team Stacy. Use it, become a part of the team because – Come the turn of the year, Stacy's work is going to become more challenging while we put her into a detox regimen, um, pull in more of the support. And um, on YouTube, find your inner flavor. You can follow, you can see all of the recaps in the back, backlogs from all of that. Become a part of it. What do you want to make a change? How do you want to accept yourself in the new year? Thank you.